Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. What do you guys think of my new setup? Do you guys like it? How do you guys feel about it? I got myself a ring light, so this is how it looks. I'm also filming um, with natural lighting. I do film in front of my window. But I also have the rain light here to add a little bit of extra light. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now and it'd be really, really great if you guys could check the link down below that I put in the description so that you guys can donate and so you guys can sign petitions and you guys can read up on different articles and get yourself educated with everything that's going on in the world right now. That would be super, super helpful if you could just take your time to read over that website it doesn't really take that long to sign petitions if you guys can't donate at least sign the petitions that would just be beyond super super helpful so yeah with that being said i'm really excited for today's video i actually filmed this video yesterday but I didn't really like the way that it turned out so I'm re-filming it again um, but for today's video I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys the Natasha Denona Safari palette I already tried this palette like I said yesterday so I already have my thoughts on what I think of this palette so I'm gonna be showing you guys how this palette works on my eyes I know that there is a bunch of reviews on this palette either people really like it or people really hate it I wanted to get this palette to try it out and see if it's good or not here is what it looks like it is so pretty i actually really like the colors in this palette so if you guys want to see my little review and demo of this palette then just keep on watching the rest of this video so i already have on my foundation and my eyebrows i just kind of filled them in really quickly if you hear something squeaking it is my chair and i'm sorry about that so first i'm gonna start off by priming my eyes with my nars eyeshadow primer All right, so here's the palette that I'm gonna be using today. So I've already used this palette once. I used most of the warm tones in this palette, but I didn't get to play around with this row right here, which is the one that's like the bluish gray green tones. Um, and I heard that that was the row of colors that people were having the most trouble with. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using today. So the first color I'm gonna be taking is this one right here at the bottom. It's called Tamarind. So that color Tamarind is gonna be my transition shade. And the brush that I'm using here is a brush from Do Color. I don't know the name of it because I got it on Amazon and it doesn't have like a number or anything but it came in like a little set and I really really like this brush. It's like really fluffy and it blends out the colors super nicely. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called Aya and that's just like a creamy vanilla color. And that is going to go on my brow bone here as a brow bone highlight. And I'm just using my, I'm using my Sedona Lace 954 brush. So now in my crease, I'm going to start taking this color right here, which is called Savannah. And it's this matte green color. It's pretty much the same color as this. Kind of like a army green color and i'm gonna take that color Ooh, she's like super pigmented this is a bh number eight brush this is from their take me back to brazil brush set that they have what i'm doing is like patting the color first and then i'm gonna start then blending it out Also, I'm trying out this new mic, so let me know how everything is sounding, if it sounds 
a lot more clear because before I was not using a mic. So let me know if this sounds a lot better for you guys. Taking a little bit of the shade uh, Tamarind again and just running that in my crease just a little bit. And I just wanted to mention that, I don't know if you guys can see, that these eyeshadows are very powdery, so just be a little careful when you dip into your palette because the powder kind of kicks up a little bit. For me, it's not like that big of an issue, but if you don't like kickback, it's then I'm just, you know, letting you guys know. So the next shade I'm going to take is this one right here, which is called Rhino. And that color is going to start going on the outer corner and kind of like halfway on my eyelid. This one is like a tiny bit darker than the shade Savannah. And it has a little bit more like a teal blue color to it. This little blending brush is from Sonia Kashuk. It's just their blending brush. And I actually feel like I want to add a little bit of warmth to this look. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of this shade right here, which is called Desert Date, which is a pretty light orange color. Run that in my crease just a little bit. I get my transition area. Now to make this look a little bit more smoky, I'm going to take the blue shade which is right here. This is Fata Morgana. Take that shade with my Elf X Jacasa number J4 brush. This is the new brushes that came out with the Elf X Jacasa collection, which I do have and I did use it and it's great. But anyways, so I'm gonna take the little brush so again, doing that same technique of just patting on the color and then blending it out. That shade is so beautiful. Ooh. I really like it. brush I was using earlier from BH and just use that to blend that out a little bit. And then for my lid color, I'm going to take this last shade right here, which is called Stone, which is that the matte gray color. And I'm just gonna pack it on my lid with a ABH brush. So now that I have this part done, I'm going to go off camera really quick and apply some lashes, finish up the rest of my face, and I am gonna do my lower lash line off camera. I'm pretty much gonna repeat the same steps that I did on the top just at the bottom of my lash line. Then I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts on what I think of this palette. All right, so here is the finished makeup look. I actually really like how it turned out. I normally don't use these type of tones on my eyes. I'm more of a warm tone eyeshadow girl, but I actually really like how this came out. Let me give you guys my thoughts on what I think of this palette. So. I actually really like this palette. I got mine on sale right now. It's on sale for $64.50. This palette originally is $129, which, yes, it is a lot of money. Um, but I'm happy that I picked it up on sale. I think the mattes in this palette, they're really, really nice. I had absolutely no issues whatsoever blending out the colors. I feel like with this palette, you just have to be careful of where you place your colors. If you pair up certain colors, they do tend to get muddy. So you do have to be kind of careful with your color placement. The palette itself feels very nice and sturdy. I really like the giant mirror that comes in here. Um, and then the colors are just really pretty. I like how you get 
just a variety of colors you get obviously your cool tones your warm tones and then you get like these pinky berry colors and then you get this really nice like mustardy color this color tamarind right here this is this color right here is one of my favorites in the palette the last time that I used this palette I did use these tones and these tones up here so I used more of the warm tones in this palette the first time that I tried this out and I actually was very very happy with it and again had absolutely no issues whatsoever I feel like with this palette you definitely have to not just like quickly just go and like blend like how you normally do there's definitely like a technique i guess with using these eyeshadows i find that um when you pick up the color it's best to kind of like tap it on and then blend it out i find that that works really good but like i said i had no problems with the eyeshadow skipping i didn't have any problems with the eyeshadows getting like patchy or anything like that just everything blended out really nicely and i was just super impressed by it i like that it's all mattes because i already do own a lot of shimmers so it's great that i can use other shimmers with this palette also the palette has these little holes in the back so you can like pop out the eyeshadows and you can rearrange them in whatever way you want to or you can pop them out and put them in a separate palette if you are a makeup artist and you don't want to have this giant palette in your kit so i think that's really cool the formula of these eyeshadows are definitely really great this is my first natasha denona palette her formula is just something that i've never tried before the colors pretty much just blend out by themselves so what i actually like about this palette is that yes the shadows are pigmented but if you want to share them out, you definitely can. And they're very buildable, so it's not like you're going to go in with a bunch of color at first and then you're like, oh my god, I can't blend this out. It actually blends out really easily. And it, like I said, if you want a sheer wash of color just like all over your eyelid, that's really easy to do. And feeling the eyeshadows, they just feel very buttery, very smooth. Like I said, I've never had a matte eyeshadow feel like this. They don't feel dry or like crumbly. They don't tug on the eyes. Never had a matte eyeshadow feel like how these eyeshadows feel. They just feel very, very different. Would I have paid the $129 for this palette? Probably not. I actually want to get the other palettes from her makeup brand. I definitely want to get like Biba and the gold. I feel like those... I would definitely pay the 129 just because you get like the shimmers and you get mattes and you get like the other formulas in the palette but with this um i probably wouldn't have paid the 129 for the palette but i am glad that i did get it on sale and i will be definitely using this palette let me know what you guys think of the natasha denona safari palette if you guys have tried it let me know what you think and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a like if you guys found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye you guys.